hey youtube welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing an oil change on my 2013 dodge dart this is going to be like take 2000 of me trying to do this oil change because my drain bolt was my drain plug was um stripped and it's also in there like hella tight so shout out to castrol on um la vista and tucker for making this video possible because if it wasn't for them i would not be able to do this thing so i just went up there i asked them like y'all i'm not trying to pay for a whole oil change because if you know if you have the 1.4 turbo you know that oil change is not cheap i usually used to pay like 90 85 to 90 dollars every time i needed an oil change um until i learned how to do it myself so i just went up there i was like can y'all please just loosen it or just do something um so i don't have to pay for the whole oil change like i got my oil i know what to do whatever so they went ahead and just loosened it for me so shout out to them for making this video possible i will be using um the ow40 today i usually use a uh, 5w40 i think that's what most people with the uh with the dart use um but i usually use the 5 5w40 in the winter months um because it's a little bit thicker and i'm not driving that much so the ow40 is um fine for me um i think that pretty much covers everything if you're new here make sure that you like and subscribe um if you're returning thank you for not being mad at me for not being consistent but i'm gonna try to be more consistent here and give you all some like car videos because like that's all i've been doing lately so i might as well just go ahead and record it because you know blow off valves exhaust systems like my car is completely different than what she used to be so if you saw like my my early vlogs like she don't look nothing like that no more like she's a bad she a baddie now so stay tuned and um stay tuned for more car videos and let's get right on into this video okay so this one i'm gonna drain my oil first and then change my filter but um, I'm going to just go ahead and show y'all my little setup because I know y'all dying to see it right here. So let's go. All right. So y'all see here, safety first. Got to have the chops when you got the ramp. So get those at AutoZone. Um, I think this takes like four point something. So I got four point whatever uh, quarts of my OW40 since we don't carry the OW40 in the five quart. So then I got my filter, my cabin air filter. Um, so let me show y'all the rest of my setup here. Got the ramps, cool, cool. And we got it up like that and got my tool. So let's get into it. Alright, cool. So that part is done. There's my oil. So now I'm gonna change my filter. So the location for the filter in the Dodge Dart is gonna be like right there. As you see, boom, the top of there is a 29 millimeter socket. And then you just need an extension bar to get down in there. Ow, that shit is hot. Why do I always burn myself? 9713. And I use the extended life one. Okay, so usually um, I just set a towel down in here because the filter canister is upside down. So when you pull it out, you might spill some oil. So just set down your towel so you don't get it all over everything. Left with left with Left with Don't touch anything hot. All right. So now that I got that out, I'm just gonna take the rubber ring off of here. 
bone. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Pop this one back in there. Boom, boom, boom. Now, when you put the new ring on there, you want to just um, put it on and then put like a little bit of oil on it to lubricate it before you put it back in. That's why I just bring this little foil with me so I can just I'm probably getting so much oil on this shirt. Just lubricate it. Touch something hot. I would touch something hot. And self explanatory, you're just going to tighten it back up. And literally, you don't need a torque wrench because, like, at a certain point, it just stops. Like, it just doesn't turn anymore. So, I just do it to that point. Like, and it's not because I be weak sometimes. Like, it's literally, it don't, it don't turn no more. So, I just wait till I get to that point. I need some thicker gloves. But not least, you obviously just want to um, fill it back up. I'm just going to take that off. I definitely should have let her cool down a little bit more. I keep burning my fingers. So I want to say it takes like 4.16 or 4.08 or something like that. But I'm going to just put all four quarts that I have and then a little bit more. And then I'm going to test the oil and see if I need to get another quart. But I don't think I will, but I'm going to do that anyway. Alright, so my camera died, but the only thing y'all missed was just me wiping everything down. These people are so loud in my neighborhood. Y'all can really stop. Anyway, um, all y'all missed was me just wiping stuff down with some soapy water. Shout out to Chris Fix. Okay, so the air filter is pretty self-explanatory. There's just a screw right here, and then there's a screw for the clamp on the um, intake hose. Alright, I have to come back in here because of the noisy ass people outside. Anyway, um, so I'm done with everything that has to be. You can probably still hear them. 
anyway i finished with everything that's inside the car so i mean you know what i mean so now i'm about to do the cabin air filter like i said before i never done it before so y'all just gonna learn with me like i just was you know being my little youtube mechanic or whatever and i saw like i watched like two videos on how to do it so i'm pretty much just gonna try and just do what i remember um everything else has been going smoothly so hopefully this goes smooth as well but then i just realized i don't have nothing to put my old oil in to take it up to autozone to recycle it so i gotta figure that out but that's need to get over there stay tuned for the cabin air filter all right i'm just trying to figure out why these noisy ass people had to come when i'm trying to do my uh video okay so basically i heard <laughs> that she just popped this panel open. Oh, shit. Hi. Okay. And then, I don't know if y'all can see it. It's right over there. This fit, this video is clearer than the ones I've seen. Okay, so it's a socket, this one right here, and it looks extra tiny. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, bet. So I know one of these gotta work. That's too small. That's too big. That's way too big. Hold on. Hold on now. Because this is all of them. Okay, after many trials and tribulations, I found it. And it happens to be a six. Whatever. Boom. It's this one. This little tiny little guy here. Hello. Alright, so we're just going to take that bad boy, y'all. Get out of here. Why are they playing with me? Why are they playing with me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so hard to be playing. So I had to resort to using pliers because none of my sockets want to fit this thing. So slowly but surely, Mr. Bolt here is coming up out of there. All right, so I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was scared to see what was gonna come out of this cabin air filter because I never changed it. And I only remember paying for it once, right? And that was last year. I opened this thing up. This shit looks disgusting. Like what, the, oh, what the fuck? It looks like bugs in here. So there's a tab, <laughs> there's a tab right there that you push down. I need to put my mask on for this. Look y'all, I'm not playing, I'm not playing with y'all. Like this is disgusting. Oh my God. That's, that's nasty. This is supposed to be white. Ew. Ew. I don't want it to flick on me. I'm, I'm, just, I'm so disgusted right now. Um, I 
gotta go vacuum out my car now. But I'm gonna spray this on my cabin air filter because I've heard that it like makes sure. Oh shoot, your car smells better. So boom, did that. Then I think where it says airflow right here, you put this side, like follow the arrows basically. Go this way. All right, how am I supposed to get it back up in here? I wouldn't cut out for this. Oh shit. Do I gotta take this off? Hold on y'all. All right. So I just had to wrestle with it um, to get it lined up in there. I just kind of like shoved it in there. So here we go, let's throw that back in there. And I did have to just pull this little um, speed nut looking thing up out. So I'm just gonna put that back on there. Pull that back in place. And slides back there. Somehow I pull that down. Okay, so then repetitive, just put it back where you took it out. Once again, sounds simpler than it is. Get out. You won't die, your friend in here. If you stuck around to the end of this video thank you so much for watching um all my pain and struggling and how dirty my shirt is now um so uh what i think i'm gonna be doing next is uh engine bay detailing and then i wanted to do an engine bay dress up anyway so i'll probably do that all in one video um but make sure that you like comment and subscribe let me know what you would like to see on my channel so i can go ahead and keep it coming and um yeah thank you so much for watching like comment and subscribe and watch my other videos and stay tuned for more videos so thank you for watching bye